Hey yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Noy back with a banger for y'all today and today I'm coming at y'all with the how to quick stop in NBA 2K22. But before we hop into that, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sub to Noy make a drop a sub and like on this video before this vid even starts. Alright, now, if you don't know who I am, when it comes to this quick stop and stuff man, I might have been the person who taught you how to quick stop in 2K21. Hence this video right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, it got 126,000 views, you know what I'm saying? So I got to be a credible source of some sort, you know what I'm saying? I had people let me know that I explained it good last year. That's why this year, y'all got to let me know in the comment section, did I explain it good this year, you feel me? I don't got no hand cam, so I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to listen carefully. But enough of me rambling on, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and hop into what you need to know how to do off the rip, all right? Now, when it comes to quick stopping, you got to go to your controller settings first. I tell y'all this in every single video I do about dribbling. My dribble moves, my walk back, my speed boost glitch. Make sure your pro stick orientation is on absolute. It changes the difference between somebody who's going to quick stop and somebody who can do a crossover and shoot a 50% contested shot. You know what I'm saying? So make sure your pro stick orientation is on absolute, not camera relative. Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? Now, before we hop into the actual tutorial, a badge to help you when you quick stop stop and pop all my guards get stop and pop y'all see i don't got my shooting badges maxed out yet but if you watch my streams you know i'm a demon you know what i'm saying but when i max out my shooting badges i'll let y'all know the best shooting badges all that you feel me y'all see i'm about to hit 95 you know what i'm saying you see the 78.8 i mean 78.7 percent i'm finna hit 95 i'm gonna show y'all the quickest way to get 99 all that you know what i'm saying but enough of me rambling on let's go ahead and hop into the actual tutorial you know what i'm saying if you want my dribble moves Simply just go to my last video or two videos ago, you feel me? Get my dribble moves, simple as that, you know what I'm saying? Now, just like last year, it's pretty much the same three ways to quick stop. The only difference, it's, it's just some slight differences in this game. In this game, if you try and do the regular quick stop too fast, you end up shooting a fade like that, you get what I'm saying? So, what you want to go ahead and do off the rip, right? If you don't know how to speed boost, I got a speed boost tutorial that I dropped yesterday y'all go check that out um but I'm gonna I'm give a little a little explanation on how to speed boost quick little you know what I'm saying if you need an in-depth go watch the video you feel me so you want to speed boost which is basically just do a crossover and then run you'll be able to speed boost it's, it's pretty self-explanatory do a crossover and then you run speed boost right so you you do the speed boost and once you get to your spot all you do is click the right stick opposite of the ball so if you're running left you flick the right stick to the right and you should get an animation like this right here when you go boom you see the snatch back like that you should be getting that animation every time the quick stop is when you cancel that animation by shooting the ball so when you go ahead and do that animation bang y'all see that you go do it again but this time you hold square and then you cancel out the animation simple as that you feel me like like i said it's the same it's literally the same as last year. The only difference on that one is the fact that you can't do it immediately like in 2K21. Uh, and 21, you can do it as soon as you flick that stick, you get to shoot it. But on this, you got to give it some time or you're going to shoot a fade. So I'm not saying wait till you complete the animation, but like you got to wait like at least half a second or so before you end up shooting a fade like that. Now, there's two more ways to quick stop. And in 2K20, this was called peaking, all right? This is not called a quick stop, but we don't consider it a quick stop because technically it still is, you feel me? In 2K20, everybody called it peaking because you didn't have to quick stop when you did this, you feel me? So basically what you're doing is speed boosting again. The whole point of this is for you to speed boost away from your man and get the shot off before he can get there, you feel me? So you speed boost again, you let go of everything and shoot it. Now, the reason why it's peaking and not quick stopping is because in this game, you can do it forward. Now, I know I don't got the full court because I didn't invite nobody to my, you know what I'm saying, to my uh, practice arena or my my court, like an NBA player or whatever, start the 1v1. But if I run up the court, I can just stop and shoot it like that, peeking off the rip, you feel me? So if I speed boost from it, uh, it's so much more effective, of course. So y'all know how hard it is for people to guard the speed boost in general. So for you to just be able to cook up, speed boost whichever way you want, and then run over here, stop and pull, sometimes that's more effective sometimes the quick stop is more effective it's really it really depends on the situation i don't think 
for the most part, I think people do that quick stop out of all in this game. Like last year, I know everybody was doing the right stick, flick the right stick, then shoot. In this game, I think it's better to let go of everything and shoot because as soon as you get to your spot, your player just automatically stops. Like he starts slowing down as soon as you let go of R2. So you just let go of R2 and then shoot the ball. As simple as that. Well, make sure you let go of uh, the left stick too so you don't fade. But you literally just let go of everything, shoot the ball, or whatever. You feel me? I know that was a fade, but y'all get the gist of it. Now we on to the third one. Now the third one is probably the one that you'll use the least. The only time I use it is if I do this move right here where I spin back, I hit L2, and then shoot just so my player can pick up, like, turn around and stop running. You feel me? That's the only time I use the L2. Some people use it on the step back, hit L2 on that, and then shoot. But me, that's not that's not what I do. The only reason why I would do that is if I have play take and I get the ankle breaker with the step back, and then I hit L2 and shoot. Now, like I said, in this game, it's so easy to quick stop and peek and all of that, that majority of the time you're just letting everything go and shooting. But if you want to do the L2, you simply just literally just hit l2 your player is going to stand still from whatever the move you're doing he's going to stand still and then you shoot it now in this game it does make you do a size up but off the rip when you hit the button to do the size up you just shoot it before he starts to size up you know what i'm saying so in any situation you can literally just hit l2 your player is going to literally stop and you shoot the ball so all the quick stops are pretty equivalent this year like last year if you hit l2 it made you do a little weak step back move and it would kind of mess you up sometimes um and then if you let go of everything last year it was kind of uh it took longer to shoot it but in this game you still can shoot it like off rip plus it's so much easier with this speed boost to create space so honestly in my opinion the best quick stop would be to let go of everything and shoot but if you want to do the other ones you know what i'm saying it's your it's your player at the end of the day you feel me it's your shot you do it but from my experience alone just letting go of everything is literally just better than any other quick stop you can possibly do you know what i'm saying but like i said i'm not gonna make this video too long i explained it pretty decently i believe so you know what i'm saying y'all let me know in the comment section down below if i explained it well or if i did a bad job just let me know you feel me if i did a but if i did a bad job keep it a butt with me you know what i'm saying like i said Last year I did this. They said I explained it good. If I explained it bad, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I y'all come in the stream, I'll let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? A few things y'all just asked me all that. But like I said, we're not gonna stretch this video any longer. Done rambling. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. It's been your boy Nori. And uh I'm out.